you have to have your education somehow, you at least your basic education. If you had a very successful eSport career, you have other things to fall back on. But outside that, uh, you're still stuck with not having your education. I'm from Skara, in the center of Sweden. It's very calm here. It's very peaceful compared to a big city. Traffic is like non-existent where I live. Maybe we get like one car who passes like every week. I'm a principal at the high school or gymnasium, as we say in Sweden. By other things, I've been Ludwig's principal for the last year when he went to school. Like for me and my education, uh, I just wanted to finish it, so I had uh, some kind of background um, to fall back on. We've never had a, a conflict spending time gaming and uh, schoolwork. We always mostly managed <laughs> to do both. When we were little, we had like a certain amount of time at the computer and was very interested in the games and very involved and he didn't just play them for fun he really wanted to learn them. When I was younger I started playing uh, tournaments super early. Uh, I traveled I traveled with my dad and my brother to my first LAN which was pretty embarrassing but I had to. For most of his uh, career <laughs> he's been a minor I had to, to take that responsibility and be a part of the discussion. So uh, I've taken a, a very active part in, in all those things. Well, the very first uh, travel he, he did on his own, it was to Thailand, I think. And then it was in the eighth grade, he was around 14. And then was <laughs> I thought, maybe he will come back or maybe not. But then uh, when we realized, oh, he's back and he, everything was okay, then, okay, is this the way it has to be now? The, the break with finishing school, it, of course, he was away for a year, but it hardly matters, <laughs> as it looks like. I just decided, like, I'd rather just take this year off and finish my education. A lot of people are talking about, like, how could you give up, you know, possibly competing for millions? Uh, you know, you're really good right now, why would you quit? Uh, if you don't play competitively for, for this long, you're gonna get worse. But uh, after I did so well at TSX, I think I kind of proved them wrong. I'm proud and satisfied that he, he made that decision. Of course, if, if a young kid wins a lot of money playing a game or doing something he's really good at, he might put it to waste. It just comes down to his his relatives, his parents, his friends, his, his siblings, or whatever, to contain him, I guess. We started a company a couple of years ago on his behalf to run uh, his business in a more organized way. Being not yet 20 years old and, and being that established as a professional, uh, it's it's very nice as a parent. <laughs> he took that chance and I think that's quite cool. As a mother or as a parent you're very very proud for sure. Yeah, I'm a proud mother. It makes you understand that he's a, a star. Mm -hmm.